Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We've all heard actors reflect on the awkward nature of on-screen romance. The choreographed scenes are very unnatural and never allow for a realistic passion to play out. But sometimes actors are paired with a co-star whose sweet kisses fill their heart with butterflies. Outside of A-list dating apps like Raya, on-set couplings are the perfect place for busy celebs to find love. And in today's video, we are going to talk about actors who enjoy kissing their co-stars a little too much. Without further ado, let's begin. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher Mila Kunis grew up on the small screen, playing Jackie Burkhart on the Fox hit sitcom That 70s Show. For eight seasons, audiences enjoyed watching Kunis' overbearing, mouthy character gripe at her dim-witted boyfriend, Michael Kelso, played by Ashton Kutcher. Unbeknownst to fans of the show, Kunis' on-screen kisses with Kutcher were her first kisses in real life. Talking to People in 2001, Kunis reflected on the moment she realized she'd have to kiss Kutcher. I was like, oh, he's so cute, it's the Calvin Klein model, Kunis recalled. Then I was like, I have to kiss him? Kutcher had no idea he was her first kiss, but their on-screen chemistry made a decades-long lasting impression. Kunis ended her relationship with Home Alone star Macaulay Culkin in 2011. That same year, Kutcher separated from 90s screen siren Demi Moore, whose 16-year age gap caused quite a stir in the tabloids. Kunis and Kutcher soon started hanging out and hooking up, much like their characters in No Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits. But much like their movie characters, their connection was undeniable and the couple married in 2015. Stephen Moyer and Anna Paquin In 2010, rapper Snoop Dogg made the song Oh Suki, a tongue-in-cheek ode to Suki Stackhouse, the main character on HBO's vampire drama True Blood. The video featured clips of the Southern Bombshell, played by Anna Paquin, and several Suki lookalikes. The series was a wildly popular hit for the network, racking up millions of viewers. Fans were enamored with Suki's sweet sensuality, which also seemed to capture the heart of her co-star Stephen Moyer. From the moment the two actors met for their chemistry read, the English actor was taken with Paquin. Moyer's character, the sensitive vampire Bill Compton, agonized over his love for Suki, which was in direct contrast with his fate in the underworld. But in real life, Moyer and Paquin's relationship flourished. The couple married in 2010 and welcomed twins Poppy and Charlie in 2012. They currently co-produce the Amazon original series Flack, where Paquin plays a tortured publicist. Alicia Vikander and Michael Fassbender Handsome German-slash-Irish movie star Michael Fassbender has a history of hooking up with his co-stars. After playing a struggling sex addict in the 2011 indie film Shame, Fassbender briefly dated co-star Nicole Beharie. He also dated Zoe Kravitz after they starred in the comic book movie X-Men First Class. But when he worked opposite Swedish beauty Alicia Vikander on the tragic 2016 film The Light Between Oceans, he was so smitten his serial dating came to a halt. Once the classically trained ballet dancer, Vikander gained acting notoriety playing Ava in the offbeat sci-fi movie Ex Machina. In 2016, she won an Oscar for her supporting role in The Danish Girl. That same year, Fassbender was nominated for his leading role in Steve Jobs. While the powerful acting duo keep their romance on the lowdown, a few shots of their secret 2017 wedding in Isaba did pop up on the internet. Michael J. Fox and Tracy Pollan NBC was known in the 1980s for family hits like The Cosby Show, Gimme a Break, and Silver Spoons. Family Ties was ranked amongst the network's top shows thanks to the breakout star Michael J. Fox. The Canadian-born actor played charming overachiever Alex P. Keaton, the oddball offspring of his ex-hippie parents Stephen and Elise Keaton. Alex's conservative morals never aligned with his liberal New England family or the many women he dated in college. Tracy Pollan played one of these women for several seasons, and the encounter proved to be life-changing. As Ellen Reed, Pollan's character was initially turned off by Alex. 
but in one iconic scene, the actors kissed while dancing to Billy Vera's bittersweet song, At This Moment. The song became a number one hit, and audiences wondered what would become of the obvious chemistry between Pollen and Fox. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, what are your thoughts about them? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video!